Today is National Raspberry Day, so we have to celebrate with Unity Gardens, one of the premier gardens in northern Indiana. I'm joined by Selena and Sarah. Good morning, ladies. Happy morning. July 8th, National Raspberry Day. Good morning. Absolutely. Happy Raspberry Day. Yeah, and you brought some for us on the set to eat right now. These are hand-picked straight from the garden. Is that correct, Sarah? Absolutely. Yep. Now you have to try the white one, too. A white raspberry. What, what is a white raspberry about? Well, I try it? in a second, you'll know. It's good, a little firmer, but it's good. It's I, very good. I that's like the red my one. favorite. The you like you the like the red white ones. ones. All right, so tell us about the history of Unity Gardens. This is such a lavish, beautiful place, Sarah. So the Unity Gardens' um, 15-year anniversary this year. Congratulations. Um, thank you, thank you. It's all about free access to healthy food. Um, so we have 53 Unity Gardens throughout our area right now and growing. Uh, excuse the pun. Uh, basically, like edible parks, destigmatized free food, a uh, place where people can gather and commune with nature, in addition to getting healthy, fresh food anytime they want. Selena, you're an intern. What's been your experience like working with Sarah and her amazing team? Oh, it's honestly just magic every single day. With every little interaction you make, you make a new friend, you get to show people things that they've never seen before, like eating a flower that they didn't know they could eat, or learning that this is where their food actually comes from, and this is what it looks like when it grows from the ground, not just at the grocery store. What all products does Unity Gardens offer, Sarah? We have not only the fresh fruits and vegetables, I mean, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, okra, uh, herbs, uh, lettuces, greens, uh, turnips, radish, you name it, we've got it. Um, but then in addition, there's so many other things to do, whether it's feed a goat, hold a chicken, um, you know, just sit in the green space. We have the geodome now to connect with kids and so many different educational classes. We have a new art series, Yoga in the Garden, um, and definitely events coming up. And the big barbecue's coming up. Selena, how excited Absolutely. are you for that? Tell us I'm about it. thrilled for the barbecue. There's gonna be so many fun craft vendors, informational vendors. We have so much good food coming up. Hacienda, Rico Suave. It's just, I'm thrilled. So it is National Raspberry Day. Every July 8th is National Raspberry Day. What is the process to grow raspberries, whether they're white or red, Sarah? <laughs> Absolutely. It depends on your preference. Uh, <laughs> raspberries are perennial fruits, so they uh, do grow naturally here and come back every year. Um, there's a lot of mystery in terms of the canes and removal, et cetera. What I do is just wait until um, a cane comes off naturally. I don't usually trim. Um, you can trim to make them bushier. Um, you can also do something where you um, put the end in the ground and make a whole new raspberry. Um, but they also slowly grow. Oh, they're beautiful. They're fresh, they're firm, but they're not mushy. I don't know how you do it. It's perfect, Sarah. What other fruits and goodies did you bring for us in our coffee table this morning, Selena? <laughs> well, we also have mulberries, which grow on trees. We have gooseberries, which are a little bit different. A gooseberry? Yes. I'm going to try one here. In my opinion, they're kind of grape-like. They're grape-like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're a little, little mushy. Uh-huh. Depends. You should try one of the ones that are a little lighter colored, and then they'll be a little more tart. The lighter color? Yeah, I like mm -hmm. it a little bit more sour here. Yeah, uh, and these bubble. are very old-fashioned kind of fruits. Mm -hmm. um, people don't keep them in mind as much. What are they called? Gooseberries? Goose Gooseberries. Mm -hmm. I learned something new today here on Home Telling. What else did you bring for us? And then we have blackberries. Blackberries, those are classic. So mm -hmm. is this like the optimal fruit season, you would say, Sarah? I always think this time of year is where blueberries meet some straggling strawberries meets <laughs> raspberries meets gooseberries meets currants. Um, and we have all of that at the garden. What about plants? I know you had a big plant sale, re plant sale recently. I'm sure everything was flying off the shelves. Your, your, your work is beautiful. How was Thank the plant you. sale? Uh, absolutely perfect. We didn't have to compost any plants that uh, could not find homes. So out of um, tens of thousands of plants, we either sold or gave away every single one. And imagine how much fresh, healthy fruit that is for everyone in our community. So these are small blackberries? Like no. What, what are these? Mulberry. Mulberry. So what is the difference between a mulberry and a blackberry? So mulberries grow on trees, mm -hmm. and then the blackberries grow kind of like raspberries on those canes from the ground, like a bush. Wonderful. Mulberries are good. They're good. Blackberries, ugh. You don't uh, like blackberries. I, I love all like your fruit. Everything you touch turns I to gold. I should like them because they're really good for you, but mulberries are um, almost like trash trees. Um, you know, they grow around here so much, and they're the forgotten fruit. Yeah, well, nobody's going to forget about your fruit because it's amazing. We really do appreciate your time. Happy National Raspberry Day. Continued success at the garden, and good luck at the barbecue uh, later this month.
For more information on Unity Gardens, check out your screen, visit theunitygardens.org, or give Sarah and her team a call. They're also on various social media channels.